My God, angry American protest against Harry as Duke loses all credibility with one controversial move. And let's be real for a second, Pat Tillman was a true American hero. He gave up a lucrative NFL career to serve his country after 9-11, and tragically lost his life in Afghanistan. Harry, on the other hand, served in the army, sure, but these days he's more likely to be seen complaining about his family on Oprah than dodging bullets in a war zone. But wait. It gets better, or worse, depending on how you look at it. Some folks were so riled up about Harry getting this award that they started a petition on change.org urging ESPN to rethink their decision. I mean, when was the last time you saw people getting so worked up about a sports award? It's like giving the Nobel Peace Prize to, well, someone who's been anything but peaceful lately. But here's where it gets really wild. While Harry is inside accepting this controversial award, there are actual Americans protesting outside. That's right folks, we've got people on the streets waving signs demanding that Harry be kicked out of the country. It's like a bizarre reverse British invasion, and can we talk about the irony for a second? Here's a guy who left Britain because he couldn't handle the scrutiny, and now he's facing backlash in the land of the free and the home of the brave. Talk about out of the frying pan and into the fire. But here's what really gets me, Harry keeps talking about wanting privacy about how he left the royal family to protect his wife and kids. But then he turns around and accepts a high-profile award at a glitzy ceremony. It's like he's trying to have his cake and eat it too. Sorry Harry, but it doesn't work that way. And let's not forget this is all happening while his brother Prince William is out there doing actual royal duties. While Harry is mingling with celebrities in Los Angeles, William's consoling the English football team after their Euro 2024 loss. Talk about a contrast in priorities. You know, it's moments like these that really make you wonder what Diana would think of all of this. Would she be proud of Harry for forging his own path, or would she be disappointed that he's turned his back on his family and his duties? We'll never know, of course, but I can't help but think she'd be a bit heartbroken to see her boys so at odds with each other. But here's the thing that really gets me. Harry keeps talking about how he wants to make a difference, how he wants to use his platform for good, and that's great, really it is, but at what cost? at the cost of alienating the very people he claims to want to help. Because let's be real, this award controversy isn't just about Harry, it's about all the other veterans out there, the ones who don't have world titles on Netflix deals, who are doing incredible work every day without recognition. How must they feel seeing Harry swoop in and grab this award? And what about the Tillman family? This award was meant to honour Pat's legacy, to keep his memory alive. But now instead of focusing on Pat's sacrifice, we're all talking about Harry's latest controversy. It's like he's managed to make even this about himself. As for Harry himself, well, I've got some advice for you, mate. Take a step back, take a deep breath, maybe consider staying out of the spotlight for a while, focus on your family, on your charity work, on actually making a difference, instead of just talking about it. Because right now, all you're doing is digging yourself deeper into a hole of your own making. And to ESPN, the folks behind this whole day bar call, I say this. Maybe next time, read the room a little better. There are plenty of deserving athletes and veterans out there who could use the recognition without stirring up an international incident.